Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving deep into the world of PDFs and zipping. Have you ever wondered why or when you'd even want to zip a PDF file? Let's unravel this mystery together. First things first, it's essential to note that PDF files are already compressed, so zipping them might even seem redundant. However, there's still certain scenarios where zipping a PDF file can be beneficial. But before we delve into this, let's quickly go over how you can zip a PDF file. It's a breeze on both Windows and Mac. On Mac, right click on any folder and hit compress. The button in the drop down menu will also have the file's name in brackets. Now on Windows, again, you're gonna wanna right click on the designated file or folder. However, this time you're gonna wanna click send to and then select compressed zipped folder. In Windows 11, it's slightly easier. After right clicking, just select compress to zip file. In any case, you end up with a zipped file of the same name. Now let's talk about why you'd even want to zip this file. While PDFs are already designed for efficient file delivery, there's times when zipping them just makes more sense. Initially, to reduce the file size, especially for large PDFs, zipping them can reduce their size and just make it easier to send. Also, if you're sending multiple files, it just makes more sense to have them all compressed in one folder. This will also help you overcome the number of file attachments that some emails impose. Zipping also lets you password protect your files, which adds an extra layer of security. And finally, it will help you speed up downloads and uploads. But hold on, there's still reasons why you may not want to zip a PDF file. First of all, PDFs are already compressed and sized, so zipping smaller files can just be redundant. Next, PDFs are just more compatible across devices because you don't need a special software to unzip them. This also leads us to the ease of access because a PDF does not need the extra step of unzipping it. And finally, zipping a PDF may remove the file preview option on some devices. Okay, so now you have a zipped file that's easier to share, but you still need to send it. This can still become clunky, and honestly, there's better solutions. For example, I like to use tiny.host to zip multiple PDFs together and host them in one central location or library. This lets me seamlessly share my files through a URL or a QR code. You can easily access your files in a collection like this. To do this, simply visit tiny.host and then drag and drop your file into the designated area. From there, you can set a URL and then just hit publish. You'll also have the option to customize your domain for an added touch. I also love the abilities to password protect my files and track analytics. Overall, tiny.host is a seamless way to share your files online. If you still have questions, we've linked the full blog article in our description. Now that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like it, comment if you have questions, or subscribe for more tech insights. Until next time.